Akwaba means welcome in Ghana. And Angelina Nana Ikria Oduro's iconic Akwaba photo, taken years ago, has broken all records in the Ghanaian modeling industry. Her divine achievement is so legendary that even Ghanaian models yet unborn would struggle to match the record she has set. Today I have an interesting person with me that I'm going to be chit-chatting with. I'm sure you have seen the person at uh, the airport. You, you must have seen her somewhere. She, I'm saying she might just be the, 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 the most popular all-time model in, from Ghana. This is me. My name is Angie Ekia. If you have any dream, try to pursue it. Don't, don't mind what people will say. Just believe in yourself and you can make it. Her picture taken in 1999 when she was a teenager is popularly recognized by Ghanaians across the world as a true representation of Ghana's hospitality to foreigners. This picture has been used on several collectibles like special calendars, bags, dresses, gift items and many more. Her contribution to the promotion of the Kinte fabric with just this one picture is legendary. She says, I really promoted it. I think I did. Interestingly, the picture which went viral across the globe influenced a lot of Ghanaian photographers and individuals to start creating their own Aquaba photos. According to the 5 feet 4 inches tall model, the idea of this picture was sewn in her mind when she was between 8 to 9 years old. Explaining how it all came about, Angelina said, When I was around, I think, 8 to 9 years, my mom used to send me to, she used to send me and there was this bar which had a very beautiful lady with beads and she was carrying, I think she was holding a pot and she was pouring, yes, she was pouring um, palm wine and I used to stand there for a long time because I, 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 I was just admiring it and I always used to tell, say to myself that I'll grow up to take a picture like that. After her primary and secondary education, Angelina went to a fashion designing school called Fashion Africa. From there, she joined a modeling agency owned by a young fashion designer called Tete Plaha. Yeah, I went to a, a fashion designing school, the name is Fashion Africa, and from there I went to Tete Plaha and I joined um, um, STB Makan. Yes, so I did my attachment at Tete Plaha and in the evening I joined his elder brother um, to, for adverts and he is also into modeling. Yeah. Describing the meeting between her and the photographer who took the picture, she said, When I, I became of age, I decided to take a picture and put uh, in my hall. But I later realized people were just admiring it. And then I was told to, uh, to just allow, allow the pictures to be sold. So that's how it came about. So who took the pictures? DJ, CJ Multimedia. Unknowingly, to both her and the photographer known as CJ, owner of CJ Multimedia, an iconic picture had just been taken and it took them about six months to realize this. For how long did you start noticing that the picture uh, was going viral? I think within six months, four to six months, I just realized it was just going. People would call me Equia, my name Equia. Okay, I saw your picture in um, Cape Coast. I saw it and then it was it started going international. So that's how come. Within six months. Following your popularity, how much did you start making? We asked. And um, once in a while he would tell me he sold this amount and then he'd give me something. So but it was cool. It was okay for me because it was okay. Something like what? Um, he was giving me money, and if I can remember, it was huge to me. It was huge. Is it on a uh, uh, monthly basis? No monthly basis. Well, sometimes within a day, people can just 
call and he, he would start uh, producing more and more. So it wasn't weekly, monthly or something. So it was just coming like that. After that picture, what else? What else came? Uh, the, was the opportunities you got after taking that picture? After taking the picture, um, I won contracts, um, TV commercials and billboards and TV commercials and billboards. Yes. During one of her birthdays, a cake designed with this image was the gift a friend presented to her. Following her fame, Angelina said friends and family became very proud of her. And it's like any Ghanaian room I go into, the picture is there, and you are everywhere. So they feel proud. So they'll call me, they'll send me pictures, they'll take a, a picture of it and they say, look, I'm here standing beside your picture. Where are you? You're not here. And they're just like, they feel proud. Yes. And how did your friends start reacting to you uh, from then? When they started seeing that your picture has gone viral and you have become popular? I made new friends. I made, I made a lot of new friends. Um, my friends were very proud. My family, they were all very proud. But I felt, I don't know, I felt normal. When, when I go to places and they see me, they dance, they lady dance, they so I just didn't like it. <laughs> so, so any special favor you got from, from that fame? I started being invited to big, big, pro, big programs, and, but I, 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 I just didn't like it. <laughs> I just wanted to feel normal, you know. <laughs> How do you feel I'm, I'm knowing that people all over the world have your picture and they are looking at them? How do you feel? As how do you how, how is that feeling like? Um, I don't know. I I see it normal. I don't know. I don't feel so much excited, but it's like I see it as an ordinary picture. Then suddenly she disappeared from the scene. Asked what happened. She said she had to quit the scene for religious purpose. Adding that, let's say I went into, uh, uh, I started making family, so I decided to lie low. Yes, but nowadays she is fully into fashion designing, teaches modeling once in a while, and engages in plenty of church activities. Uh, I'm a chorister. I'm an evangelist. And I am part of the sanctuary keepers who keep the church clean. Um, yes, yeah, that's all. Asked to compare her modeling days with present day practices in the industry, she said. Actually, when I went off, I wasn't even watching TV, watching, I wasn't listening to anything. I, yes, I, it was like I was out of this world. Yes. Wow, it's going to be a very, very boring. Okay, actually, it wasn't boring. I, I felt okay. I didn't want to follow anything on social media, the telenovela, and I, I was just, I felt okay. Yes, so I, I don't know. I'm actually... How is that okay thing? It's like I didn't care about anything. I didn't care what was, what that I cared was, was like it might be my kids and what I was, my new religion. That was all that mattered to me. I, nothing mattered to me. After all these years, she is now a full-grown woman with two grown-up children. I have two kids. My daughter is 11 years. My son is nine. My kids are very excited. They, they sometimes, they were with me this holidays and they were saying, Mommy, my friends are, are saying, are they, am I sure it's my mommy? I said, tell them it's your mommy. <laughs> but surprisingly, when we asked her how she now feels knowing that this picture has become larger than her, she said, Today, I see it's very normal. I see it like an ordinary picture. I, I, don't, I don't see it like, sometimes I don't see, see like it's my, it's my picture. I see it like an ordinary picture. I, I, sometimes when I go to a place and people see me, ah, you look familiar. I say, yeah, 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 yeah I know, I know. Then I start look, turning away because I know when the person looks at me too much, the person might recognize me and I don't like, hey, that is her, that is her. I don't like that. I just... <laughs> wow. I think I'm blessed because... Looking at the way this picture just even came out, I, I was even shocked because when I, like, when I told you when I was a child, I, I used to tell my mom sends me, I would stand there and watch the picture and I will say, I'll, I'll be like this lady, I'll be like this lady. So I had wanted to even take the picture naked like that. But it was Mr. C.J. People told me not to. Yes, I had wanted to take it because I, I was just admiring her curves and the beats and she was naked, she was just naked. And she had this 
the pole, the pole dress. She had this on her ankle, so I was just admiring it. I wanted to be, I wanted to, to have that same picture in my heart. But he decided that I should cover up. Then I said, okay, then I'll use the cloth to cover up and I'll tie some on my head. So, so that's how come. And then he told me his friend wanted it. If someone came to see the picture, they also wanted it. And it started going out like that. So I think I'm blessed. According to her, people now refer to her as Aquaba and her household as Aquaba House. It's when you go to my mom's place, you ask, I want, I want to Aquaba's house. That's, that's, how, that's the name of her house, Aquaba House. Wow. I tell them that's not my name, I'm a queer, but they also call me Aquaba, so I use that name, Aquaba. So, it was no surprise when she named her fashion outfit Aquaba Crafts. My name is Dalinton Wagner and that's how we're signing out right here on Edible Beast TV. Stay blessed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe before leaving. Thank <laughs> you.